right, so let's fill in some blanks here. Any diameter is considered a chord. Okay, any diameter is considered a chord. There should be a paper. Okay, but chords may also be shorter than a diameter. And usually they are. We usually don't talk about the diameter as a chord. Usually a chord um, <clears throat> is something like in this figure, AB is a chord. The segment AB is a chord. Um, probably want to label it that there on that picture. Okay. AB is a chord. <clears throat> it connects two points <clears throat> on a circle. Um, so this one's close to the diameter, but it's a little bit shorter than the diameter. Have, you could have a segment connecting C and B. That would be considered a chord. Okay, um, so it's just connect, a segment connecting two points on a circle. Okay, but we need to put. We're going to focus more on the angles. So you need to write down the definition there for a central angle. Okay, so in this case, <clears throat> angle AOB. Okay, angle AOB is a central angle. O is the center of the circle. It is the vertex of that angle. That is what we consider a central angle. Now, each central angle splits your circle into two arcs. Okay, we call them the minor arc and the major arc. The minor arc is on the inside of the central angle, so meaning that it's less than 180 degrees. So in this case, the minor arc <clears throat> is um, arc A, C, B, not B, B, no, I wrote B, I said B, A, C, B, and we put a, like an arc, over those letters to note, uh, notate that it is an arc. Now, for minor arcs, you can use just the first and the last point of the arc, so you could also name that arc a, B. And you could also name that arc A, B. So anytime you see just two points, you know that it's the shortest distance between points A and B. Because obviously you can go two directions from A to get to B. You can go to the right, or you can go to the left. If you go to the left, that's going to be the major arc. That's going to be um, the bigger side, as opposed to if you go to the right, that's the shorter distance. So the minor arc ACB or just AB. And then the major arc is the remainder of the circumference of the circle and it's always greater than 180 degrees. Um, so the major arc created by that central angle would be arc ADB. Okay, so the minor is over here on the right side. That's the minor arc. The major arc <laughs> is this side over here. Okay. And remember there are 360 degrees in a circle. Okay. There are 360 total degrees in a circle. Um, so you will have to use that property um, to figure out some of these measurements sometimes. Okay. 360 degrees in a circle. Okay. So, the degree made, uh, measure of a minor arc is equal to the measure of the corresponding central angle. Okay, the measure of the minor arc is equal to the measure of the corresponding central angle. The degree measure of a major arc is 360 degrees minus the measure of the corresponding minor arc. Let's look at this diagram. Okay, it's the same picture from above, um, but we're going to talk about some actual measurements. 
they tell us that the measure of angle AOB is 160 degrees. Okay, so this angle right here is 160 degrees. They ask us, well, what's the measure of the arc ACB, the minor arc? Well, that is equal to the measure of the central angle. So that arc is 160 degrees. <clears throat> the major arc would then be 360 degrees minus 160 degrees. So it would be 200 degrees. And part C says, on the diagram of the right, show possible locations of a point X so that the measure of arc A to X is 90 degrees. Okay, so we want to go from A to a point and get a measure of 90 degrees. So that's why I have the segment right here. If I take this segment and I put it through the center of the circle, um, I think that's pretty close to a right angle in this form between this radius OA and this segment that I've drawn through here. That's pretty close to a right angle. So we have two possibilities for the point X. We could have X over here, so I'm going to call that X sub 1, or we could have an X over here. Either way, both of those arcs would have 90 degree measure. Okay. Because the central angles would be right angles. So there are actually two possibilities there. Okay. Let's keep going. Two arcs have the same measure if and only if their central angles are congruent. That kind of makes sense. The measure of two minor arcs are equal if and only if the lengths of their co uh, corresponding chords are equal. So we can talk about the angles and we can talk about, we can talk about the measure of the angles and we can talk about the lengths of the chords and either way uh, they would have equal measure or they would be congruent if those uh, angles are the same or if the chords are the same. All right, um, so hang on, let me give you some practice here and let's 